Hello, and welcome to another fresh edition of Poly Playbook. We're serving up all the hot action, cool plays, and everything in between for Cal Poly Athletics. I'm Brian Chong, and Poly Playbook starts now. This year's cross-country team became the first in Big West history to collect all six of the conference yearly awards. The Mustangs, who are recognized, include Kay, Clay Hutchins, Peyton Vilo, Justin Robinson, and Kate Ratliff, and Mark Canover, who was Coach of the Year on both sides. Cal Poly Cross Country is now preparing for the West Regionals, which are set for November 11th at Haggins Oaks Go Golf Club in Sacramento. Qualifiers will head to the NCAA Championships on November 19th. Number 14, Cal Poly fell to the number 3 Eastern Washington in front of a crowd of 9,722 in Alex G. Spano Stadium Saturday night. Losing two fumbles and throwing one interception, Cal Poly lost the battle with Eastern Washington 42-21. Despite reaching their average for rushing yards, the Mustangs fell to 63 and 42 in the conference, snapping their second three-game winning streak of the season. Cal Poly football remains tied with third place for we with Weaver State and Northern Arizona, and will visit Weaver State in Utah next Saturday for an 11 a.m. Big Sky game. The next home game will be Saturday, November 19th, in Alex G. Spano Stadium. Last Sunday was a disappointing day for Cal Poly soccer fans. The men's soccer team lost its position for the final spot in the conference tournament to the Aggies, who defeated UC Santa Barbara Sunday afternoon one to nothing. Before this game, the team led UC Davis by two points for third place in the Big West Division standings entering the final day of the regular season. You can follow the team's off-season training and progress on GoPoly.com. Cal Poly Volleyball defeated UC Davis 3-2 Saturday night, advancing to 15-8 overall and 8-4 in the Big West. Junior Taylor Nelson, the leader of the conference in assists, put up 55, the team 67. The Mustangs had a .230 attack percentage compared to Davis's .241. Volleyball will be back in action tonight, Friday, November 11th, when they host UC Riverside in Mott Athletic Center, followed by another home game Saturday night against CSU Fullerton. Well, that's all we have for Poly Playbook Sports action this week. You can follow us on Snapchat, Twitter, and Facebook, or you can log on to mustangnews.com for continuous Cal Poly sports coverage. I'm Brian Strong, and have a great weekend.